In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God separated light from darkness. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. He called the light day, and the darkness night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Nowadays, every evening, man says, Turn on the light. And when it fails to do so, he called it brownout. But his neighbors would call it blackout. If you want to be enlightened about technology, please click the subscribe button for free. Without asking Mr. Google, can you tell me who invented the first light bulb? It's not Thomas Alva Edison. In 1802, Humphrey Davy invented the first form of electric light, the electric arc lamp. And it has nothing to do with Noah and the flood or the whole new world of Aladdin. An arc is simply the spark or the light producing electrical discharge between two electrodes conductors in the air or gas. Davy used charcoal sticks, also known as carbon, and a 2000 cell battery to create an arc across a 4 inch, 100 millimeters gap. It glowed too bright and too short for practical use. Although, Humphrey Davy is credited for the first electric arc light. It was Russian physicist Vasily Petrov who discovered the electric arc effect in the same year 1802. He built the world's largest and most powerful voltaic pile or electric battery at the time, consisting around 4,200 copper and zinc discs. Several decades later, arc lamps or carbon arc lamps were widely used for street and large building lighting in the 1870s up to the 1920s when incandescent light bulbs took over. The carbon arc lamp is the predecessor of today's mercury and sodium lamps for street lighting, and xenon arc lamps for car headlights and other medical lighting purposes. The next seven decades saw other inventors which created light bulbs, but had designs with low commercial application. In 1840, British scientist Warren de la Rue placed a coiled platinum filament inside a vacuum tube and passed electric current through it. The high melting point of platinum in the vacuum chamber improved the longevity of the light bulb, but the cost of the platinum was too high for commercial replication. In 1850 English physicist Joseph Wilson Swank created a light bulb by enclosing carbonized paper filaments in an evacuated glass bulb. With wider availability of better vacuum pumps for evacuated glass chamber, Swan in 1978 developed a longer lasting light bulb using a treated cotton thread as filament that also removed the problem of early bulb darkening. In 1874 a Canadian medical electrician Henry Woodward and colleague Matthew Evans built their lamps with different sizes and shapes of carbon rods held between electrodes in glass cylinders filled with nitrogen. Woodward and Evans failed to commercialize their lamp, and eventually sold their patent to Edison in 1879. Edison also got inspired, if not motivated competitively, by a certain William Wallace and his partner Moses Farmer. I did not find any picture of Wallace or Farmer. Just imagine Wallace is from Connecticut and not from Scotland. And, Farmer did not live up to his name, and was in fact an electrical engineer. Wallace used the dynamo he earlier invented in his arc lighting system, which has extended the life of carbon electrodes. In 1878, Thomas Edison filed for a patent entitled, Improvements on Electric Lights. In 1879, Edison filed another US patent for an electric lamp using carbon filaments from cotton and linen threads, wood splints, and papers. Then he and his team discovered that a carbonized bamboo filament using only mild electrical current could last over 1200 hours, equivalent to 50 days. This enabled Edison's company to start marketing their incandescent bulb commercially with great success. On the 13th of December 1904, Hungarian Chandler Just and Croatian Franjo Hanuman were granted a Hungarian patent for a tungsten filament lamp that lasted longer and gave brighter light than the carbon filament. By 1911, General Electric had begun selling incandescent light bulbs with ductile tungsten filaments, dominating the market by 1914. There you go. Humphrey Davy or Joseph Swan may have invented the first light bulb, but the first incandescent light bulb commercially used in modern society is best credited to Thomas Edison. Did you know that a typical incandescent light bulb today is only about 5% efficient? Less than 5% of the electric power is converted to visible light, more than 95% is converted to heat. For this reason, the US and many European countries legislated in recent years the phasing out of the incandescent light bulb to give way for more energy efficient and cost effective compact fluorescent lamps and LED lamps. To know more about compact fluorescent lamps and LED lamps, turn on the notification bell for future videos. Before we end this video, there is one little but vital tech thing you should know. Do you know how to turn the switch on and off? Well, simply flicking the switch would do the trick, right? 
But, what if there is no power like during brownouts, or if the bulb is busted? Which way is on and which way is off? And the symbol for on is this. The symbol for off is this. That's why in power buttons in your computers you see this as symbol for power, a combination of on and off. Also, for a horizontally oriented tumble switch, the symbol for on is on the right and is usually extruded so you can feel it with touch. You turn the switch on by flicking to the right. When the tumble switch is vertically oriented, up is usually the direction of power on. This is true for different types of switches like toggle, selector, dial or slide switches. They are normally rightward or upward to denote power on. For push button switches, power is activated first when you press on it. Another push will retract the spring and the electric circuit is disengaged, turning the power on. For this type of switch, a lighted or lit button usually would indicate power on. So, the next time you click a switch, look at it more closely. Click like if you've learned some little tech things on this video. Thank you for watching.